The brief for Dulwich College was to create for them a new science building for the 21st century. We wanted a building that would have the integrity of a science building, but would also show an aesthetic and artistic sensibility. I think a lot of what we'll talk about today is actually about making sure that the users of the building help to define the best way to use the building in the future. So we've, we've built that section up to there and we're in the demolitions now taking place to, to go ahead and, and build that section. We needed to replace quite a utilitarian 1950s building that had only one entrance, almost like a fortress, a fortress of science. You know, come in through this door if you're going to do science. Stay away if you're not interested in science. And so it, I was very keen that we should be creating a new building that actually you could approach from many different positions physically and also very different mindsets <laughs> uh, intellectually. The new science building has the laboratory accommodation around two major spaces, one of which is a three-storey atrium that critically is open at one end, so you get the views out to the, the front of the college buildings. And then the other space is a, an auditorium space, uh, which is part of the phase we're now building. So roughly speaking, we've identified that as, as the kind of garden space. You know, it's a similar size space to the auditorium itself. And then beyond that, it's kind of, you know, thinking about what it could be used for. Even round the back of the Shackleton block, there's the um, potting and people sitting around there and stuff. So, I mean, it'd be nicer to have just, I mean, even just some simple pots or like just some steps, just so people can kind of relax around it and stuff yeah. or whatever. I mean, okay, steps. We've had user group sessions with pupils where we've talked about the design of the building as it's emerged. So as a huge number of people have contributed to the design, perhaps without realizing that they were doing so, but they really have. We decided quite early on that in the facades of the building, there was an opportunity to pursue ideas of color and pattern and texture in a way which would be influenced by a geometry which underpins kind of natural forms, but kind of has relevance to all of the sciences. And so I uh, proposed working with Peter Randall Page, a very renowned sculptor. He and I worked together first at the Eden Project, over the years, I've become increasingly interested in the underlying principles that determine the kind of seemingly infinite variety of form we see around us in the natural world. Do we have a periodic table? Do we have stars? Do we have DNA strips? Peter carried us that one artistic stage further. The algorithmic system known as the Lindenmeyer system originally was developed to understand plant growth, but actually with the advance of computer technology, it's been applied to many, many other uh, ways of understanding the world and growth systems and patterns. The type of algorithm that we've used, basically you put some inputs into it and then the formula will create a kind of a whole array of results which you can plot as a visual pattern. When one's relatively close like this, it does appear quite a random arrangement, quite an abstract arrangement of a number of different terracotta colored tiles. As you move further back, um, the overall pattern becomes more apparent and it's based on this sort of recursive pattern known as the dragon's tail. It's one of the Lindenmeyer uh, algorithmic systems.
one of the defining features of a Grimshaw building, is that they show you how it's been constructed. Um, you can see the workings that have gone into it, quite literally in what is revealed rather than hidden. And I suppose there's an analogy here with what good education does. It's not just about the end product, it's about the workings that get you there. And so I'm delighted that, that we have almost written in, in concrete and steel what I'd want to be written in a good student's work in the classroom. It shows the workings and how you get to an answer is as important to learning as the answer you might get to.